I've been watching where this thing sits in the garage lately, and I've noticed an ever-growing puddle of something oily, let's put it that way, but not thick enough to be motor oil underneath this vehicle. I thought it would be motor oil, but it was just too thin. So one day I brought it down to top off all the fluids, and I noticed underneath that thing was dripping fuel like crazy. That's what the puddle in our garage was. So I opened the hood to take a look, and I got a nice whiff of diesel fuel. It turns out that this is a really common issue, and the part that's leaking is the seals on that valve right there which allows you to drain this fuel bowl where the fuel filter is. Doing look, uh, looking around on the internet, doing some other research, talking to other people, I found out it's a real common issue. And one of the explanations a guy had for me was uh, this new ultra low sulfur diesel eats away at those seals and they start leaking. And sure enough, it's, it's hard to see down in there. But you can see, you can see that shiny stuff down there. That's all diesel fuel settled in the the valley of this V8. And when the engine's running and you've got pressure on the fuel system, it'll start leaking fairly quick. My dad called me yesterday and said he left church and uh, didn't feel too good about it because he left a 15-foot. A uh, long stream of diesel fuel <laughs> on the parking lot. So it's about time we got this fixed. It's getting pretty bad. So here's a video of how I did it. I went up to my local Ford dealer, Putnam Ford in St. Charles, Missouri, and I bought the piece to get this fixed. Turns out I have to buy the whole valve assembly. It was 60 bucks. Isn't that crazy? Oh well, if it fixes a problem, hey, I'll be a happy customer. If it doesn't, then it'll take further diagnosis. So first, let's take this fuel filter bowl cover off here. We'll have to drain all that fuel out of there too. Is it me or does, uh, or does diesel fuel smell good? open that valve and drain all this out. Make sure we don't lose that o-ring there. And I can hear the fuel draining. I don't know if I'm going to have to take the filter out or not. Probably won't have to. I probably didn't even have to take the cap off. Oh well, it'll drain better. All right, we're gonna need a Torx. I believe it's a. That's too small for a 25, but a Torx bit to remove these screws, and we can pull the old valve off. The old valve is off, and uh, let's see. So you can see down in there, there's diesel fuel down there from where it was leaking out. I ran down along the side here, and right there is where it came off. Right there, where you see that little yellow on those two holes. So the seal is completely, actually the seals, the two of them, are completely gone. You can see nothing on there. Things are completely gone. That's why it was leaking. Now we just got to put the new one in. What I had said earlier was right. I didn't have to take the top of that uh, fuel bowl off that lid because this bottom one is where the fuel drains out. This top one is an air hole. So as the fuel drains, air can replace it right there. 
So I didn't have to take that off after all. Oh well, another lesson learned. That new valve is installed, got the cap back on. We shouldn't encounter any more leaks. I'm gonna soak up that diesel fuel down there in the in the valley of this V8. Let it go and then we'll check for leaks again. I believe we've got the leak fixed. 